Dr. Jeremy Weiss here. I'm founder of InspiredInsider.com where I talk with inspirational entrepreneurs and leaders and how they overcome big challenges in life and business. Today, I'm very excited. We have Lee Euler, who's one of the legends of copywriting and direct response marketing. His first direct mail piece he wrote in 1976. He's the founder of Cancer Defeated, which is dedicated to researching and reporting on alternative cancer treatments and has grown rapidly to become the world's number one source of information about this important subject. And I have to say, Lee, in general to everyone, he writes some of the most compelling emails and subject lines I've ever read. I would suggest sign up for his newsletter just on that fact alone. I can be in productive mode, just you know, just doing whatever I need to be doing at that moment. And I see one of your emails come through and I almost swear under my breath because I know I have to click on it and see what is in this email. I was reading one the other day, uh, plant boot, just to give people an example, plant boosts cancer killing cells 900%. You can't not click on that, Lee. So thank you for joining me. Well, my pleasure. So Lee, since this is Inspired Insider, I want you to just talk for a few minutes about two things. One, that lowest point and how you pushed forward, what you're thinking mentally to get over that low point. And then two, what, what the proudest moment has been in your career so far? Uh, well, the proudest moment is easy. I get these letters from I, I tear up. <laughs> I should have started talking about this. Yeah. People write letters that, that they've recovered from cancer. And, and yeah. You know, it, I, I can't put it into words. What's one that you got that was especially touching? Well, we've gotten a lot of them. I, you know, I can't even single out one. We get mm -hmm. one every week or two from mm -hmm. somebody that's mm -hmm. like, I got your newsletter, I did this, I've gotten well. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's, it's really amazing. Yeah. I mean, you know, I, I'm at a point in my life where I really don't need money anymore. I could retire, I'm old enough to retire, but yeah. um, it's, it's... Keeps you going. Yeah, but the work is worthwhile. And if I had to advise anybody on something, it would be to, to do something that, that means something to you. Yeah. You know, it, it, it's really important to, to uh, excuse me here. Yeah. It's really important that, that your work means something to you because yeah. being of service to other people is, is the most important thing. Yeah, I mean, and you have to incorporate, I mean, to really get this to the masses you have to like we said you have to really hone in on good copy and making sure people see the you know or they're not going to buy it right yeah well i know they know when you're fake yeah they they see through that yeah. no, i don't know how it is i mean it's amazing i've been in this business for 40 years and yeah. i've marketed guys who were jerks because you know i'm if you're a direct mail copywriter you're gun for hire and you know sometimes you know you get a client or, or an editor or whatever. The product is phony. The guy is a jerk. Mm. It's amazing, but the public sees through that. I yeah. mean, you can write the best copy that you could ever write. You can hire Gary Benzavanga to create a great package. And somehow the public knows these guys. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. They sense authenticity. Mm -hmm. So the easiest thing to do is just don't bother. Just be authentic. You know, mm -hmm. Don't try to fool people. Right. You know, Be real. Be authentic. Do something worthwhile. Be a service to people. You know. You know, pick something that will make you money, and and will support your family, but that means something and is a service to people. Yeah. And do that. And be real. And don't lie. Yeah. You know, it's like it, the Google motto. You know, don't be evil. They unfortunately don't follow their own motto anymore at Google. But <laughs> it's still a good model. A, yeah, motto. Don't be evil is good advice right. and I, that I would urge on people. Right. Yeah, the low point is also easy. That's when I went bankrupt. I mean, professionally, yeah. that was the lowest point in my yeah. career. I mean, it was it was a nightmare. It was it was the, the one of the two worst things that ever happened to me in my life. It was like a death in the family, yeah. and that's a really hard thing to get through. And you know, religious faith made a big difference. Mm -hmm. And um, you know, the sun rises again tomorrow. Yeah. It's it's like the Hemingway title, The Sun Also Rises. You know, yeah. however dark it may be now, you know, the sun's gonna come up again. Yeah. And it really pays to persevere. And in that case, you know, when that happened to me, at the, at the end of a journey that lasted a couple of years, you know, I had to get back into writing direct mail copy, which I didn't want to do because it's really, really hard. Mm -hmm. 
And, uh, you know, I became uh, the best, one of the best direct mail copywriters in the country, and I became famous because of that. Yeah. So, you know, bad things turn out to be a good thing, and right. usually that's the case. You yeah. know, it's what it's, you don't know what God's plan for you is, and you mm-hmm. just sometimes you just kind of have to roll with it yeah. and uh, find out. <laughs> Lee, you're fantastic. I really appreciate you doing this. And um, where should people check it out, check you out online? Where should we send them? Um, you can send them to uh, to cancerdefeated.com. Okay. And if they want to write me, they can write newsletter at cancerdefeated.com. Okay. And yeah. I personally, that's my mailbox. Yeah. And I'll take a look. Thank you. No, this looking is, forward to hearing from your folks. This is great. Thank okay, you. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It was, it was fun. I'm glad you had fun. I was hoping. It, it was, yeah. I was a little, uh, a little uh, ambivalent about it, but it turned out to be a lot of fun. Awesome. Thank you, Lee. I really appreciate it.